That, that whole deal was 10,000 miles, and I'm still traveling. And I uh, just got back from McKinney. We were up there last weekend. So I get to see a lot of the country. I drive everywhere. I don't fly anymore. Since 98, I, I quit going into airports. I just don't want to take my boots off for anybody. And I'm tired of being pushed around by Homeland Security. So if I have to go to Ireland or South America, I'll fly. But I, I'm not flying inside the country. And I get to see the country. And most of the time, my wife gets to go with me. So we have a wonderful time out there doing that. And uh, I, uh, I think the Virginian had a, had a certain uh, magic and uh, majesty and magic to it that seems to have uh, lived through the years because people are still watching it and it's very, very popular on the Inspiration Channel on Fridays and Saturdays. And it's on Cozy, I believe, at eight o'clock in the morning. That's an NBC cable affiliate. So after 50 years, it's back on NBC, and I'm real proud of that. But uh, uh, I'm, I'm just real glad to be here and be able to get out here and see, see the folks. And I'm, I'm very, very proud that a lot of young people are watching the Virginia now for the first time. And I have grandfathers, that are, and I'm a grandfather, calling me and saying, you know, Jim, my kids, are watching the Virginian without being asked and without being told. They just sit down and watch it and they love it. So that makes my heart sing because those are lessons that you really can't get anywhere else. You know, any Western, true traditional Western, is a morality play. It must show the triumph of good over evil. Amen. And the audience wants the catharsis of seeing good triumph at the end of the, at the, end of the play. And it's something we always uh, were very conscious of when we were shooting the Virginian, and it, 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 it carries through today. And I'm, I'm very proud that it is the kind of show that people still want to watch. So I'll be happy to answer any of your questions if you have them, and I hope you have a lot of them. Uh, somebody out there, raise their hand. Got to have a question of some kind. Yes, sir. How long have you been in Houston? How long have you lived in Houston? 38 years. 38 years ago, I met a, met a gal, and I said, where do you want to live, sweetheart? And she said, I live in Houston. That was the end of that discussion, and we're still on our honeymoon, so we're doing something right. You know a good country when you see it. <laughs> Must be more questions. Uh, yes, sir. Are there any other cast still living? Yes. Roberta Shore is, is alive and well, and Randy Boone, and Gary Clark. Uh, Don Quine, uh, Sarah Lane, Diane Roeder, and uh, uh, that's... How were you cast for the part of Virginia? Was it a competition or did you have to play for it? Or? I had to test for it. Uh, they, they, they screen tested me three times. And after the first screen test, they said, you're too fat. Go lose some weight. So I lost 10 pounds and came back and they said, you're too fat. Go lose some weight. So in 30 days, I lost 30 pounds, and um, they informed me and Doug McClure on the Friday night before the Monday morning that we started to shoot, that we had the parts. And uh, wow. nine years later, we were done. So that was how we got to know about it. Uh, it gave us a lot, of, a lot of time to put our characters together, but we had them pretty much in mind to begin with. So. We knew what we were going to do. Yes, sir. You have any kind of uh, reunion with the cast members that are still Every watching? chance we get. We, we, we just had one up at McKinney. We had uh, Roberta Shore and Gary Clark and uh, Don Quine were there. And we're going to have another one in North Dakota this summer that I know of. In fact, there's, I, there's one. I don't even know where it is, but there's two reunions planned for next summer. So we'll keep this ball rolling as long as we can. Yeah. Yes. Do you have a schedule of your appearances? What's that? Do you have a schedule of your appearances? It's on my my uh, website. Just go to the Virginian.net and you'll find out where I'm going to be uh, from moment to moment. Uh, I I usually live, give every computer I see a ten foot wide berth. I don't even touch them. But there's a lovely gal up in London, Ohio, that runs that website, Karen Lindsay, and she's devoted to the show. She knows more about the show than I do. And uh, she, she keeps my schedule and 
pretty much books me wherever I go. She arranged for this engagement here today. So that's, uh, that's always very helpful. Yes, sir. Uh, I read that you do uh, audio books sometimes. Yes, sir. Which I, ones have you done? I, I, I've done uh, four of them. Uh, and, well, and some of this one. I did some St. Gray. And then I did... Uh, the, a wonderful author out of Pocatello, Idaho, named Kirby Jonas, and he just writes beautiful westerns. And I got involved with him and read his books, and I decided to go ahead and record them on tape. And uh, uh, I did two of them up in uh, Spokane, Washington, and then two of them back here at the University of Houston in their sound department. And uh, they're all out. It's a company called Books in Motion, and they uh, they have them at truck stops for rental books, and they rent them, and then the truckers drop them off down the road at another truck stop, and, <laughs> and uh, somebody else rents them. But they're also for sale. So if you look up uh, Books in Motion, you can find all my books.